To integrate cosine squared of 3x, we need to use this identity, which lets us reduce the power of 2 to a power of 1. However, we also need to double the input and do some of this other stuff. Note, in our case, the input is 3x, so when we apply this identity and double the input, our new input will be 6x. Also, we're going to take this factor of 1 half and bring it outside of the integral. And that gets us here. We've brought the 1 half outside of the integral, and we have 1 plus cosine of 2 times our input. Our input was 3x, so now it's 6x. At this point, this is straightforward to integrate. 1 will integrate to x, and cosine of 6x, well, we just have to think about that a little bit, but it's going to be a sine function. In particular, it will be 1 over 6 times sine of 6x. Of course, we need sine of 6x because the derivative of sine gives us that cosine, and we need that 6x inside. But by the chain rule, if we take the derivative of sine of 6x, we're also going to get a factor of 6 because we have to multiply by the derivative of that inside function. In order to undo that, since we don't want a factor of 6, we have to multiply by 1 over 6. So when that 6 pops out from the chain rule, it would get cancelled out. So this is the correct integral, with of course the arbitrary constant. Finally, we can just distribute the 1 half to get our final answer of x over 2 plus 1 twelfth sine of 6x plus c. And that is the integral of cosine squared of 3x. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus 2 course and Calculus 2 exercises playlists in the description for more.